What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I've been seeing this clip of T Pain ranting about music being repetitive. I haven't seen the whole thing, but I definitely wanted to check it out because when it comes to someone knowing about the music industry and what's going to set yourself apart, T Pain definitely knows all about that. And it's cool to see T Pain like on Twitch streaming. I've seen. Uh, some of his call of duty clips and the dude is hilarious so it's it's dope we living in a time where we can say some of the biggest artists from back in the day are on twitch just playing call of duty and and talking to the fans and stuff like that so i think that's pretty cool so we're gonna check this out man i, I think he's gonna have some interesting points and uh, i think it's gonna be funny too so let's do this just we you you know when your shit sounds like somebody else's shit you're making it because you think you because you're in the studio like what's the number one record right now we need to make another one of those mm -hmm. stop doing that stop <laughs> you're not original give me some original shit give me some <laughs> are you seriously telling me that you sat here and watched me i like how uh the two women in the back they're on their phone and then he starts turning up he's like yo they, they start, oh, what's happening here? <laughs> Tell a bitch to eat a dick and you thought that wasn't original? <laughs> Are you seriously sitting here telling me that eat a dick is the bad part of music? Stop! Just fucking do something else! <laughs> Just, god damn it! <laughs> do some different music! I agree. I agree with his sentiments, man. Music has gotten so repetitive because people try to sound like what's hot instead of coming up with something that has some uniqueness to it. That's why it's always cool when you're able to find an artist that's not like widely known, but they have a different sound. Like It's always refreshing to find new music and new artists that sound different. So I agree with you, T-Pain. I'm with you. We have all the shit that you're doing. We already have it. Lil Uzi Vert is already doing it. Yep. Lil Baby is already doing it. Yep. The Baby is already doing it. It's literally two niggas with baby in their names that's already doing all the music you want. <laughs> Do something else. Do something else. That's it. That's all we want. Yo. <laughs> Do something else. Holy shit. Do something else. We have it. We have it already. You don't have to do that music anymore. You don't. We have the music already. We have Lil Baby. Yep. We have Da Baby. We have Lil Uzi Vert. We have Lil Yachty. We have Lil everybody. <laughs> do something else. <laughs> Holy shit. Stop sending me this bullshit. <laughs> Yo, T-Pain is turning up. Oh, my God. I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm not big on the expensive brand clothing, but that Versace, like, sweater, like, sweatshirt he got on, whatever that is, I ain't gonna lie to you. It, it goes with the aesthetics of the, the room he's in, the little studio room he's in. It, it it actually looks fresh. I'm pretty sure it's hella expensive, but that actually looks pretty cool. But I, I don't think I'll be buying it anytime soon. But yeah, I just had to make that point. T-Pain is killing me right now. And then get mad when I fucking don't like it. <laughs> Jesus. God damn. Tap dancing Christ. Tap dancing Christ. Yo, what? <laughs> Do something else. Yo, driving him crazy. Okay, we're going to switch to gaming. Oh, my God. <laughs> Listen, Listen, Do something else. Let's switch to gaming. <laughs> yes, let's get on some gaming right now. It's not even a problem of people Nothing sending me music. It's people sending me the same fucking music that everybody else is doing, and they're getting mad when I say, well, I already heard this. That's the only thing I get mad about. You getting mad because I say your shit sounds like the shit that's already out, and you know it does. You know it does. You know your shit sounds like little baby shit because yeah. you say, oh, this is what's winning. I need to do this now. I need to do it. You don't you you, you don't even <laughs> check your fucking school, self okay. and you get mad when I check you. All you got to fucking do is just fuck bitches to get money. <laughs> <laughs> fuck bitches get money, bro. But why would you copy somebody else's music and then get mad at me when I say 
We have that. Don't do that. We got it. We got it. You ain't even hearing my voice. I'm not the same. You know what? You know how many times I fucking heard that shit? <laughs> so, so I guess someone said, man, you, they donate to let them know, yo, you ain't even hear my voice. I'm not the same. And then they sound just like the little babies, the, the babies, the little Uzis. They sound just like it. <laughs> you ain't even heard my voice, but you make the same song. I don't even or I don't even know where your song is. I ain't even read your name when you just said that right now. I, I, I uh, what is that? Uh, 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 what what the fuck does that even say? <laughs> this this what does that say? Don't you want to give me five? Give me five. It's gone now. T Pain didn't realize the state music's in right now. Oh yeah, it's down bad. Now I realize the state that music is in, but I also know that there's good music mm -hmm. in the state of music right now. Yeah. The thing is that motherfuckers that make bad music have the most money, mm. so they can they can spend fucking three hundred grand on promoting a record right now, and that's the record you're gonna spend the most attention on. Mm -hmm. But if I make better music and I got 20 grand to promote the shit, you're not going to see it. I understand true. that. I understand the state of music. The state of music has always been bad, but it's about who's willing to put the most money into it and put the most promotion behind it. How the fuck did Umbop get popular? Because they spent money on it, but that was a bad state of music. Hmm. How the fuck did any bad record in the 90s get promoted? Because mm -hmm. motherfuckers were willing to put money behind Michael LaPriore. What up, brother? How you doing? I love you, bro. Uh, but how did any bad record? We've always had bad records. Every era of music had a bad record. This is true. This is very true. But the reason that the bad record was good was because the record label behind it decided we could spend any amount of money on this shit and people have to listen to it yep i get that i I'm understand I'm that i'm not saying that this generation of music is worse than any other i'm not saying that oh my god i'm so mad that my kind of music isn't getting popular right now i don't give a fuck about that I'm not chasing that anymore. I used to chase that shit. I don't want to do that anymore. That's not my that's not my thing. That's not my thing. I'm not I don't give a fuck what my records do. I don't give a fuck about numbers. I don't give a fuck about that shit because I know all that shit can be bought. Mm. All of it. Right. All of that shit can this be bought. True. Oh, this person got uh th th their first week uh is is planning on do their first week can be bought. Mhm. Mm this is why people, they, they try to get hung up on the numbers of first week sales and stuff like that. But in actuality, if you got the label behind you, they rocking with you, they invested money into you, best believe there's a good chance if the marketing is on point, those numbers can be inflated. Don't get it twisted. Numbers can be inflated, especially it just depends on who you know. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Their, their sales, their streams can be bought. You can buy them. I don't give a fuck about that. Grammys can be bought. Mm -hmm. Awards can be bought. Yep. All of that shit can be bought. I don't give a fuck about that shit. But I do give a fuck about you doing something I different die. with your fucking music. Do something different. Do something that I haven't heard. Do something that we don't have already. Mm-hmm. You're not going to be a better blue face. You're not going to be a better little baby. You're not going to be a better dub baby. You're not going to be a better T-Pain. Just do something else. That's it. I'm with him. I don't give him. a fuck about how many views and shit your, your fucking video has.
Yeah. I don't give a fuck about that because that doesn't mean anything to people that know you can pay for that. I know you can pay for them views. Mm -hmm. You can't play the game on me because I started the game. Give me something else that's going to mean something. Give me something that's going to mean something. And that's 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 what it comes down to. That's what's kind of missing in a lot of music today. The meaning behind it. It's just, you know, a trend. You know, there's not a lot of substance to some of the tracks that you listen to. Because at some point, you start to feel like, damn, who is this artist? They sound like this artist. Like, I'm not even going to lie to y'all. When I first heard about Coyle Ray, I actually, I didn't like, you know, if you're not paying attention, you would think that she sounds like Playboy Cardi. Because Playboy Cardi has that same baby rapping voice. So at one point, I'm listening to one of the songs. I'm not realizing it's a, you know, a female rapping. I'm thinking it's Playboy Cardi. Come to find out, it's an artist called Coyle Ray. I didn't know. Because they sounded the same. I had the same type of beats. I was just like, oh, I, what? Oh, okay. So I, I get what he's saying there. You know what I'm saying? You got you to gotta separate yourself. What's going to separate you from the artists that are already out there? It's not about how many views you got. It's not about, oh, well, uh, uh, such and such watching and he said he liked it. He got paid to fucking like it. That's why. He got paid to like it. I'm not getting paid for this shit. I don't give a fuck about what your fucking music sound like. If I don't like it, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. If somebody else like it, fantastic. It's for them. It's not for me. I don't give a fuck about what you did to pay for your views. I don't give a fuck about that shit. If I don't like it, I don't fucking like it. If all these people in this room don't like your shit don't you with me, me don't you wanna give me five? Give me five. Give me five. This seems like a happy moment. I should be happy right now. God damn, Citizen Jake, thank you for the goddamn five. I'm just trying to say, and it's not about being happy or sad or bad. It's, it's the realness that I'm, I'm, I'm talking real shit. I'm talking real shit. I know, I know what y'all motherfuckers be doing. Oh, I got 2,500 <laughs> views on my, yeah. I know what you did to get that. I get it. But let's keep going. Thank you guys for coming through. Thank you guys. For that was dope, man. I enjoyed that. I enjoyed that, man, because he, he was speaking a lot of truth, man. He was definitely speaking a lot of truth. When it comes to music nowadays, it does sound the same, same type of cadence, same type of trap beats. You know, it, it, it only, like, works in a sense when it's something, like, unique. And where there's something like, okay, that's a little bit different. You know, their style is a little bit different. Let's see what they're about. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it's like, yeah, I definitely agree with T-Pain. If you're going to put your music out there, always try to separate yourself from the next person. It's cool to take inspiration from people, but you don't want to start sounding like them because we already have those artists out there. So why should we listen to you if you just sound like them? That's all I'm saying. But comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys agree with T-Pain's rant? Do you feel like a lot of these newer artists are starting to sound the same? Or do you feel like T-Pain may be tripping a little bit on this one? I would like to get your thoughts and opinions on that. Appreciate all the love and support. Road to 50K. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.